Does body count matter? No, I heard it doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter because it's a stereotype where boys can have a very high body count, but girls have to be below 10, and that's retarded. You've heard about the about the key and the lock, right? So what you're saying is... I've heard about the key and the lock. Right. So essentially it goes like if one key can open many locks, it's a master key, as opposed to if a lock is opened by many keys, it's a shitty lock. That's what I'm saying. Hey. But why can guys have sex with any girl they want to and it doesn't matter? Do you care about if a guy has a high body count? No. Do you care about if a woman has a high body count? Yes, only because the woman decides whether she wants to have sex or not. The guy only gets to have sex with who he's allowed to have sex no. with. No, girls have the same wants and needs. Is that, not, is that not true? What's a high body count to you, Bash? I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about numbers. I'm just saying, guys can have sex with who they're allowed to have sex with. So do we? Girls have sex with who they want to have sex with. Is that is that is that not true? Come That's on. not true. Do you think men should care about a woman's body count? No. Why? Why is that? They can have a body count of a hundred, but if we have a body count over ten, it's a problem. What's the reasoning behind that? What's your reasoning behind that? I'm just saying I think men think of women differently. Of course, we're different. Men and women are different. They are different. So with that, there comes different circumstances. Yeah. Right. So you can fuck whoever you want, but I can't. Not necessarily. So there's a difference between having sex with a bunch of, you know, high quality women and just having sex with any girl that comes around, right? Yeah. There's a sure. difference. There's a difference for a girl, between having are, sex with high quality yeah. men and just any men that comes around. Of course, but you guys are set at a different quality, like a different standard, because you're supposed to have children one day. You birth, right? You raise families. You're kind of you're the you're the sector of everything that's supposed to be wholesome about a family. Yeah. But if you've been with any guy and hundreds of guys, right? That kind of devalues your worth as a mother, or as a mom, as but a wife. But it's not devalue you as a guy? Because uh, you can impregnate a hundred women whenever you want in a hundred days. I can only have one baby in a hundred days. Okay. But if you look at back in the day, more than days. if you look at it back in the day, the whole th before pregnancy tests became a thing, when you would have sex with multiple women, you would know that I would be the possible father, or I am the father of this. When a woman is having sex with multiple partners, multiple men, they have no clue who the, who the, who the father could be, right? But and it's that, easy that to track that back. I mean, in the past, right? No, for I'm, now. Yeah, now. I can track back the day that I had sex with someone to the day that I got pregnant because of my yeah. ovulation cycle. That's fair. That's fair, but we live in modern society. But all throughout history, it's been set like this for a reason, correct? Yeah. So if you were to have, as a woman, if you were to have sex with multiple men in the past, and you don't know who your father is, then that, Again. that kid will end up being, as you call it, a bastard, right? Yeah. And then that creates broken homes. And that creates something that's not good for that child in the future. But it doesn't create broken homes for a man, a man to go fuck 100 women and have 100 different so, so let me ask you this. Do men or women get laid easier? Women. I think. Way easier. You know that shit. Oh, here, oh, here, oh, here. Women, okay, let me break it down oh, for you, buddy. Oh, All right, men seek what they can get. They chase what they can get. Women get what they want. That's, yeah. that's fact. That is a hard fact, that's fact, and I'm not lying to you. Men chase down anything they can get, but women, they pick and choose what they want. So with that being said, would you say that's a valid reason as to why men care about if a woman has a high body count? Um, okay, here's my perspective. If you're a woman and you have a high body count, it means that you don't care about yourself. But as a man, if you have a high body count, that doesn't mean you don't care about yourself? Because we chase what we can get. But women, that doesn't give you an excuse to fuck whoever select, you want. Women can get anyone that they want. I don't care what you look like. You could call that motherfucker on the street and say, I want you to come home with me tonight, and they will go with you. I just believe that it's very, like, different that a guy can have a body count as much as he wants, but then he looks at a female differently for having a high body count when he has a body count that's three times higher than hers. Because what is the difference between a man fucking 800 women and a woman fucking 800 different men? What is the difference between that? I mean, it's her body. It's her body. It's her decision. Like, if the guy has a problem with it, she can find some. He can find somebody else. That's it. Like, I'm not I saying. just, I'm just saying, 
if a man can fuck whoever he wants, why can't a woman fuck whoever she wants? I agree. Because a man can impregnate, it, there is what, 365 days oh. of a year. There is 365 days in a year. A man can get a woman pregnant every single one of those days if he wanted so, to. You're making, so, you're every single one of those days that he wanted to. But me, if I She's got pregnant, so, I would be pregnant for nine months. So if a man cares about her body count that much, then she should care about his just as much. I agree with that statement. Pass the mic to me. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. If, I agree with that. if so, your girl has that high of a body count body and you're... And you're insecure about it, then you should date another girl. I don't think that you, you know, but if you have just the same high body count as she does, you can't be talking shit. If you're a dog and she's a dog, two dogs make a pup. You know what I'm saying? So you can't complain if she has a high body count and you do too because you're you're two sailors swimming in the same boat. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why do you think guys care about a woman's body count? Honestly, personally, I don't care about a woman's body count. Personally. And I know this might be a controversial topic, but I think a higher body count would be a little bit better, to be honest with you, because that woman knows what she's doing in the bed and in the bedroom with the man. So let's say you wanted to get serious with a chick. Mm -hmm. Her body count's like 55. How do you feel about it? It doesn't matter. I think, I mean, if I get to know that woman and I trust that woman, then my trust is going to be there for her. Now, if she loses my trust and like six months down the road, then that's it. I start with the trust and then she might lose it. And if she loses it, then she loses it. Do you think men should care about a woman's body count? No. Why do you think men care about it? Because I feel like if you are having sex with a woman who has zero body count, it's not going to be as great with someone who has more. Okay, and so... I don't want to sound dirty or anything like that, but it's just realistic. Yeah. If you have someone who has experience, they will have more fun than someone who never had sex before. Sure. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's more fun, more interesting, more everything. But why do you think men care about it? I feel like men shouldn't care about it because I feel like men has more. So my question is, men genuinely, right? I'm a man, you're a woman. Why do you think most men genuinely care if a woman has if a, a guy high body? Likes a girl, and they like her. They're gonna go after her, and they're gonna want to have sex with her. So okay, let me. Ask, so we can both agree that men are easy, right? To me personally, I don't want to sound messed up or anything. Please, like, note that out there. But to me, that is a fact. No, I mean it's just truth. Men are easy, yo. Like, yes. men are easy. I'm I'm saying this as a man. Men are easy. Yes. So how do you feel about this analogy? If one key can open many locks, it's known as a master key. Whereas if a lock can be opened by many keys. It's just a shitty lock. But I feel like I agree with that. Right. So that's the same analogy that most men use when it comes on a body count. Okay, wait, say it again. If one key opens many locks, it's known as a master key. Okay. If a lock can be opened by any key, it's just a shitty lock. I feel like guys do not come with that like that. What do you mean? Yes, I understand that guys like to play hard to get, but when it comes to a moment where they like someone and they want them, they're going to go after them and they're going to ha get what they want. And they're going to make what they want if the girl says yes. Do you think guys should care about a woman's body count? A body count? No, because body count is always 12. It restarts every time you hit 12. And then when a guy asks you how many, how many, um, how many people you've been with, you say 12, and then you say, "Do you want to be the lucky number 13?" So how many guys have you been with? 12. Do you want to be lucky number 13? I think I'm good. Okay, exactly. Why do you think men care about a woman's body count? Do you? People actually care about that shit? Men in general. <laughs> if a man is fucking asking me a body count, he can get fucked. Who gives a fuck? Oh my god, that's so stupid. People actually ask that shit? Yes. You okay, well then you're talking to the wrong men.
if a man is ever asking you about your body count, you're talking to the wrong man, and he can get fucked. Like, that's so fucking stupid. So, get fucked. So, can I ask you this then? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, what do you think about the analogy if one key can open many locks, it's known as a master key, as opposed to if you have a lock that can be opened by any key, it's a shitty lock. I think that if a, if a woman is an analogy to you, then you're not fucking ready to be talking to a woman, and you should probably get fucked. So if a woman is a key to you, talk to your mom, talk to your sister, talk to your cousin, I don't know, get a real fucking life, and get fucked. Thank you. And a woman is not a key. Thank you. As a woman, why do you think men care about a woman's body count? They still care about that in 2022. <laughs> if anything, they're insecure. Yeah, I would say that too. The I, men I, that I, I date don't I care, so it's because not pertinent. If, maybe if like you're easy to give it up, then why would I want to be with you if you're going to give it up to everybody else? You know? I feel like not all guys do. And I mean, I don't think it really matters depending on like the past. It's like, I don't want to like think word you should focus wrong. on the past. Yeah. As a woman, why do you think men care about it though? What are they, mm, your experience? Yeah, your experience. They want to know like what you, what you, how, how you've experienced things. And I mean, <sighs> as a woman, why do you think men care about a woman's body count? Because they don't want to be. I would say because they only they do not care about what's on the inside they only look at what's on the outside men only look at what we look like and they worry about that body. they don't want no hoe okay how do you feel <laughs> I, don't, I don't know i'm speechless i'm at a loss for why do you think most men care about a woman's body count Care about uh, about what? What? Why do you think most men care about a woman's body count? Because they're insecure about their own. I don't know. I think it's an ick if I was like gonna date someone with like a really high body count. I don't know. I just think like men think like women are objects and they like own them. So like it's like you're not mine if you've been with so many others. That's why do you, they think. Why do you think men think women are objects? Because the way they act. Yeah, they like, like they act like that. I mean, not all men act like that, but like a fair amount. So, We're very like kill all men right now. This is yeah, we are. so yeah, like we so so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just a general truth. So, what do you think contributes to women being objectified when it comes on to dating? Porn industry, OnlyFans, like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, OnlyFans. Probably like I think because our generation's all like online. Like it's like Snapchat. Yeah. Instagram, like nobody takes like anyone. girls like dress up to like go out and like take yeah. pictures. So and like I feel like no nobody takes you on dates anymore. Is they'll only take you home. Yeah, that's awesome. You want to hear the truth? For the people who don't know out there, why do men generally care about a woman's body count? Oh, honestly, if a girl is ran through, then she's for everybody else. And I feel like guys, they kind of want them for themselves. That's really how it is. So. For guys out there, I think we care about women's body count because we want them to be all for ourselves. We don't want them to be any other guy. We want to provide for them. We want to be the man in their world, you know what I'm saying? So for a girl that you want to get serious with, what's the max amount of body she should have? Zero. She got to be a virgin. I got to take that shit and show her what it's about because she's going to be mine at the end of the day. As a woman, why do you think men care about a woman's body count? I don't know. I like don't think it matters. I don't think I, it matters at all. I think I don't know. Like in my experience, like my guy friends have like a way higher body count than any of my girlfriends. So I think it's like kinda like fucked up if they actually care. Because like theirs is so much higher, like doesn't really matter, first of all. Sure, but like why do you think a man would care though? Because it's like somebody else had it first. Yeah, I think it could become down to the controlling it thing. Is. Yeah, it's definitely like a controlling, controlling thing, thing. Like, like, like a pride. Thing. How like how dare you do that before? Even if I didn't know you, like how dare you do yeah. that to yourself? Like put yourself in that position. Why do you think men generally care about a woman's body count? Um. Yeah, I think their own insecurities and like I don't know. Like in what ways? Like what if they're not as good as the other people? Yeah, it's also like a double standard. I feel like guys like. Um, we'll have high body counts and then don't want to be with girls that have high body counts too. Okay, so 
using that rhetoric, what do you think about the analogy? Um, if one key can open many locks, it's a master key, as opposed to if any key can open one lock, it's a shitty lock. I think that's stupid. That's what you think about the analogy? Like, I think people should be able to do what they want. And if you're going to be with someone who judges you based on that, then they're obviously not your person. Would you say that your past can shape your future? I think you learn from your past, and that's like how you shape your future. But it's also someone's decision to learn from it. Yeah, I think your past can shape your future for sure. So, using just those terms, you can understand why a guy would care about a woman's body count, right? So, is a girl allowed to care about a guy's body count then? I don't think anybody said that a woman wasn't allowed to. Does body count matter? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, if they use protection, maybe not. But I don't know if they use protection, so yes, it matters. How much bodies is too much for your guy to have? Like 40. All right, solid. Oh, it also depends on how old he is. Because if he... Uh, my 25. Cap, my cap, okay, 25. Yeah, I say 40 is all right. Yeah. Ideally. Ideally, ideally, I would like for them to have like seven. Should men care about a woman's body count? In a... Yes, but no. Like... Why? I mean, you want to be safe, obviously. Like, you don't want to be getting with a whore, but like... Does the exact number matter? Probably. What makes a woman a whore? If she sleeps with multiple guys at one time. Do you think men should care about a woman's body count? I feel like no. Well, kind of, because like if it was like the phase that they're in now versus like the phase that they're in, like if they're not in the hoe phase anymore. Yeah. Would you say hoe phases are necessary? No. I don't feel like, unless you like were really heartbroken. Do you think men should care about a woman's body count? Yes. Yeah. Why? Then why not? We're number one. We're number one. How are you number one? Because without us, you wouldn't be here. Am I number one? I think you are. You think I'm number one? Number what makes you think I'm number one? You look like number one. I like that. You look, you look like number one. You're pretty I, handsome. I appreciate it. What would you do to me if I came home with you tonight? I would bend you over and... <laughs> oh, my God. That's what you do to me. Would you be ready though? You don't think it would be the other way around? No. Why not? But would you be ready? Uh, I don't know if I'm down for that. Look, like this. <laughs> Why do you think men care about a woman's body count? Because they're insecure. I agree. Um, so you think it shouldn't matter a body count, it's not important? I don't. I mean, it, it matters to a point, but like, if you're just looking for a hookup, then why would somebody's body count matter? So let's say you're getting serious with a person. What's the max amount of bodies a guy should have? I don't think <laughs> no. that that really matters. I don't think it matters. You just have to it like make an on effort. The person. Yeah. Okay. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk yeah. Tell me what you want after this club oh. You know you're nasty, you know you're nasty. Oh. Don't move around in my house, try to taxi